The series is sponsored by Retool, the fast way to build internal tools. Retool provides a set of best-in-class UI components and pre-built data connectors for databases and APIs in a drag-and-drop interface so you can compose apps at the speed of thought. Skip boilerplate code with 90 plus pre-built components, import custom React components, and write JavaScript anywhere you need it. Try the free forever plan today at retool.com. Hey everyone, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a brand new tutorial series on Material UI for React. In this introductory video, let's take a look at what is Material UI, the prerequisites for this course, and also the course structure. Let's begin. What is Material UI? Material UI is a UI component library. What that means is Material UI provides us with components to build awesome user interfaces in quick time. It is also an implementation of Google's Material Design specification. Just like how we have Angular Material for Angular and Beautify for Vue, we have Material UI for React. The goal here is to learn how to use the library components to build clean and elegant user interface. Now before we get started, let me quickly run you through the prerequisites. As always, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript go without saying. In addition to these, you also need to have a knowledge of React. You don't have to be an expert by any means, but the fundamentals of React, including hooks, are necessary. If you're feeling a bit rusty, make sure to go through the React tutorials on my channel before starting this course. As of this recording, the current major version of Material UI is 5. With new releases, there might be minor tweaks, but what you will learn in this series will benefit you for the future versions to come. So please do watch the entire series without any hesitation. All right, how are we going to proceed with this course? First, we will learn how to install Material UI in a React application. Then we will discuss about typography. After that, we will take a look at the different components that make up the library. I've classified the components under five major categories. We have inputs or form controls, layout, navigation, data display and feedback. And we will also look at a few components that are experimental and not part of the core Material UI library. Finally, we will take a closer look at customization in Material UI. Now I do have to mention that every topic in this series has a supporting example in the Material UI docs. However, as a beginner, it is sometimes difficult for us to understand what the code is doing. So my intention is to sort of help you get an understanding of the code by giving you some context and also breaking down the code responsible for a particular component. By the end of this course, you will have a solid understanding of how the individual Material UI components work. You can then use that knowledge to build React applications that suit your requirement. All right then, let's get started in the next video.